Greetings, Earthlings! Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. Today is Monday, so I hope you all had a nice weekend and that your transition to work mode or school mode from uh, from the lazy weekend hang around in your pajamas and slippers mode has been a smooth one, or at least smoother than mine, because my Monday has already started out on a sour note, sadly, um, and it kind of does have a, a, a slight impact on on you and me in that I cannot access Google Docs. It's down right now. It's been down for about an hour, and unfortunately, I keep all my notes in a Google Doc um, as far as all my series are concerned and what I was doing and my short-term goals, long-term goals, talking points, etc. So usually what I do is I'll, I'll open that document up after recording, and while things are fresh in my memory, I'll take notes so I know what to do in the next episode. So right now, I'm kind of... I'm kind of reaching down into my old brain here, trying to figure out what we were doing in the last episode. I do recall something about Eyes of Ender, right? We were going to go find a stronghold. That much I do remember, fortunately. So let's, um, why don't we plan on that? But before we do that, I did want to show you some stuff that I've done off camera. Uh, the things I do remember anyway. <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll be on our way for a little adventure, but, um... One thing I wanted to do, and this is from a comment in the last episode, if you recall, I remember also trying to cure a zombie villager. We went down to the dungeon, and a zombie villager popped out, like, right away, remember? So I'm like, come on, buddy. I let him out, and unfortunately, he burned up in the sun because I had forgotten that the sun was actually out. Or at least I just didn't take note, and I wasn't paying much attention. So he burned up. So there's a comment that said, hey, just give him a uh, give him a helmet and he won't burn up in the sun, which that's right. Now I remember. It's it's rel it's a relatively new feature, I think with 1.4, right? Um so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna hand him this uh, this helmet, the football helmet. And no! I don't wanna go that way. I wanna show you guys something first. Alright, let's keep going. I'm gonna go around. And hopefully he'll pick it up, put it on his head, and he won't burn up in the event the sun is out. I'll still try to do it at night, but um, we'll give him the helmet anyway. By the way, if you give a, uh, a zombie, you throw something at a zombie villager, he picks it up, he won't despawn. All right, now we got to slow this down. Slow down, Nelly. There we go. Voila! See? This is what I did off camera. Made a little zigzaggy rail all the way over here to the ranch. Now, what we want to do is... I made these signs in this frame so that we could give it a proper name and make it all official like. So, let's do that. Let's call this... Rancho? Rancho de... Suarez? Suarez! <laughs> and that is the same name as my ranch in the tutorial world. Yeah. Not very creative, but it's going to have to do. And we'll put a little raw beef in there. Very nice. All right. I saw you eyeballing my raw beef. Um... By the way, 1.5 is out. The official 1.5 release is now here. And we're going to get to some of that new stuff shortly. One of the things you can do is name your pets, but you need to do it with the egg in the anvil. The spawning egg. So you have to go to creative for that. I'm hoping that they add a way that you can name pets, existing pets in the game. Because what is the point of naming pets if you can't name existing pets. I mean, who's going to get an egg in survival? You can't. There's no eggs in survival. So hopefully they'll uh, give us some some means to do that. And I, I don't want to go that way. Whoops. Can you flip that switch for me? Thank you. I would imagine they'll do that. My, my suggestion, and I sent this to Dinnerbone. He's the guy that's doing most of the coding these days, I said, hey, how about name tags? Like, some kind of craftable name tag item. It doesn't have to be easy to make. If you don't want it, you want to make it difficult, that's fine. Um, 
make it out of emerald or something. I don't know. Iron, emerald, string, whatever. Doesn't matter. But the point is, so you take your your name tag, and then you put it in your anvil, and it costs five levels or whatever to name, which is fine. Um, that's what it costs right now for the egg, so I think it's fair to stick with that number. And do we really need to make a trade here? Um, we got this Eye of Ender from Dante. It's I think you want seven emeralds, though, so that's going to be a problem. I only have... I think I have four, right? Yeah, I don't have enough. And then this guy... Well, I guess we can get one more from him. And that's going to give me five. I still need two more. So we're going to have to kill more cows. Yeah, we we'll get another Eye of Ender. But I, I was going to slaughter some uh, Endermen off camera and get some Ender Pearls. God, those doors are a pain. So let me just store this beef over here. And let's grab this, and we'll go see if we can drum. I, let, I closed that door, right? Okay. See if we can drum up another zombie villager over here. Now, you guys stay there. The Iron Giant kind of poses an interesting problem. If I can get the zombie over there without him seeing anything, then he should leave, my, should leave these guys alone. Oh, here's something new in 1.52. If you get hit by a flaming zombie, hell yeah, you, you catch on fire. That's awesome. All right, so there's somebody down there. Oh! No, don't, 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 no, don't burn. Because if you burn, then I burn. And I'll all burn. All right, let me in here. So, yeah, with 1.5, that opens up a whole bunch of new stuff that we can do. There's new items. Uh, there's stuff we can mine. Nether quartz in the, in the nether now. Come on, dudes. Nope. Nobody. Um, so we're going to do that. Oh, no. He's on fire. Man, stay away from the sunlight, would you? But uh, probably not going to do that today. Oh, perfect. 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 All right. Let's... Now, I don't want you getting in the way. And I want you to have this. Pick it up. Yes! Come on! Ow! Oh, no, you shouldn't hit me like that. Now my dogs are going to eat you. Great. Dogs? Okay, maybe they didn't see that happen. Come on! You look like a little football player. Hut, hut, hut. Run, run, run! Over here! You can do it! Come on! Follow me. I'll block. He's got the ball. Come on! I don't... What are we going to call you? Like, you'll be like the football guy. Yeah. Newt. Newt Rockney. Canute. Did I set this up? I did. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Come on. Over here, dum-dum. No, you dummy! Hey! No! Oh, no! Iggy. You blasted him. All right, well, I got the helmet. Oh, look what you did. You broke up the helmet, too. All right, as soon as I went in there, that door closed. He um, he decided to go chase somebody else. So that, darn. At least the, I know the Iron Golem works. I'm stealing names from my other Let's Plays, by the way. Iggy is IG, Iron Golem. Iggy works for me. All right, well, let's try that again. He did a number on that helmet, though, didn't he, Iggy? Ah, darn it. I don't know how long this is going to take now. Is that one back? now? they're all regular old zombies. Boom. Okay, here we go. He was running down into the caves instead of coming up to get me, but... Alright, cool. Let's go. Now, wait, 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 wait. Pick up the helmet, pick up the helmet. Oh, no. All right, he's already burning. Uh, let me save you. Let me save you. Let me save you. Here. Thank you. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Okay. Now, follow my lead. I'll block. Stay away from the linebacker made of iron. Come on. Let's close the door. Over here. This way. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Okay, coast is clear. Run, run, run. Okay, up here. Come on. Come on. Come on, fella. Come on, fella. Come on, fella. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ow. Nope. 
Stay. Good boy. Whew. All right, that's the way to follow instructions. Now, good job with the training. And let's make sure there's no spy chickens around that want to release you. Get rid of that. And I don't think... I don't think the big guy can get to you over there. Didn't I have a gate? All right. Um, I like you with that helmet. Now, what, what happens if I... When I turn you back into human form, I wonder if you get to keep that helmet. That would be pretty slick. Okay, so first, we hit him with the weakness, right? Let's see, it's been a while since I've done this, but whoa, we're gonna... Population's gonna go up to two, three, here in Vinville. Uh, see, this is what happens when you take steroids. That's what happens when you take steroids. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, live strong. Cheat. Great, yeah. All right, so let's do that, and let's make sure he's safe and secure inside there, and I think I'm going to grab a gate. Um, thought I had a gate. Oh, you know what? I used it to make that second gate over there. Okay, that makes sense. So why don't we... I think he'll be okay. I don't, I don't think the golem can get him through that gate. That one gate. All right, well, I think we're just going to wait here for... And I need to think up a good name for you. You are cool. Um, a good name for a football player. Mm. Hmm. All right. We're still waiting for a little football pal here to change back into human form. And I think I'm going to stick with the name Newt. That was the first one that came to me. And uh, for those of you who don't know, that's it's K-N-U-T-E. So it's, it's Knut, probably in some parts of the world. Uh, but Newt Rockne is an old... Uh, player and coach from Notre Dame back in the early 20s. Very famous in football. Um, big impact, in fact, in how uh, American football is played and was played and coached and so forth. But uh, died in a plane crash in the early 30s, actually. But um, So this is going to be Newt. Newt. K-N-U-T-E. Although Canute sounds pretty cool, too. But if we're going to name him after the historical figure, then let's just let's just call him Newt. So we're going to wait for Newt not to be confused with the little creature that witches turn people into. Yes, the reptile. Not that kind of Newt. All right, come on, Newt. You can do it. All right, be right back when Newt finally decides to transform. Hang on. Oh, ooh, oh, I got him. Got him on camera, too, just at the end. It looks like a blacksmith. Hey, easy does it, buddy. Easy does it. You want five diamonds? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, well, at the very least, maybe you can uh, help repopulate the town. All right, because I ain't going to give you five diamonds, pal. I'll tell you that much. I mean, five diamonds for one emerald. Um... In fact, that's probably what we're going to go do next, is find diamonds. So let's just... Well, let's lock him up nice and safe, safe for now. And... What did I do with my fence? And I'll move him over with the other guys shortly. Let's just put a fence in front here. I don't intend to get him out anytime soon. But this will at least keep the zombies from punching him eating him through the doorway. I don't think they can get in there either. So, okay. In the event any zombies sneak in here, but we've had pretty good luck. I haven't seen any zombies in here. The Iron... Iggy's doing his job um, pretty well. I'm going to kill some Endermen, get some more um, Ender Pearls. And then... And then we're going to make some Eyes of Ender. We'll go find this uh, the Stronghold before quitting. Um, I suppose I could get some more beef and get another emerald. And I could purchase... Actually, I'm going to need two more emeralds. So I'll do that off camera, too. So, I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. Vinville. Just... I want to remember that. Gen 7, 2013. Okay, here we go. Uh, Vinville established Gen 7 
2013. And population is now three. Bam. Cool. All right, let's go and uh, let's go collect some beef. All right, be right back. Okay, it's time for a quick experimentation. I'm at the Rancho de Suarez, and I've uh, just bred a whole bunch of cows. Now, I'm going to kill them with my iron sword to try to get some beef. Um, because if I use this one, if I use my diamond sword, my uh, heavily enchanted sword here, I get fire aspect one, but it also has looting, which would be nice. Um, I could potentially get more, more beef with every drop. <laughs> more beef with every drop. Guaranteed. Um, but I don't want to do that because this has fire aspects. So if I end up hitting one of these cows and they burn, then the beef gets cooked and I'll have cooked beef. And I don't really want cooked beef. Cooked beef with every strike. Um, yeah, I could sell these, couldn't I? Um, one of those late night TV commercial shows. Uh, late night TV commercials. Uh, yeah, it slices, it dices, it cooks. And you get extra beef drops. Uh, but... I don't want cooked beef, I want raw beef. So that's why I'm going to use this, but I have an experimentation to do. I want my dogs in here. I want to see if I hit one of these guys. If the dogs then attack... Dude, you got to get in here, man. And if they kill it, will I still get the potential of uh, fortune... I mean, the looting drop. Is it both dogs here now? Alright, everybody here? My... <sighs> Darn... You can't get in here. Come on. All right, so they have to kill him before he f flames up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was a one strike kill. Okay, so much for that experimentation. <laughs> um, I, well, see, that works perfectly fine, but if I hit him once with my diamond sword, the thing already dies. It's one hit, one kill. Sharpness three. Oh, bummer. All right, well, I guess... Um, I guess that's not going to work. I'll just have to do this old-fashioned style. Let's see. Who's next? Okay, it's, it's at least it's humane. It's a pretty quick kill. Kind of, sort of. Get him, guys! Yeah! Rip my shreds. <laughs> well, you know what? I could hang him by their back feet and hit him with a sledgehammer. Jeez. I mean, it's not like a slaughterhouse or anything. There we go. Alright, one, one more slice and dice. Get him. Get him. Man, you guys are slow. Come on. Bite faster. I'm out of here. All right, let's go make our trades. Okay, we have a problem here, Houston. I just opened the gate, trying to make a trade with him. Both gates open, and he's on his way out. But before he runs, I'm going to grab some beef and knock him back in. Whew, that was close. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, here's some more beef. Good. All right. There we go. Oh, get in there quick. quick, quick, quick. Oh, Vinny. Vinny, you know, he just wants to go and be free. I, I I, know. It's like I know you guys have cabin fever, a little cooped up in here. But really, it's the safest thing. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing else opens up, though, huh? So now... Ah, uh, that's annoying. Um, I have to get all my emeralds. And... Oh, no. Did I leave those back? Ah! <laughs> They're back at Macho Pikachu. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back in a jiff. Stay tuned. Okay, back. Hey, Dante! Check it out. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we need, we need a trade window here. Because this... Hello! You guys open for business? Oh, now they run as far as they possibly can. Oh, man. Here comes the rain. Dante. Yoo-hoo. Tap, tap, tap. I has business. I have... Hey! I'll just slip in the back side. Of the front door, actually. It's not, technically not slipping in. Here we go. Okay, now, dude. I'm going to give you seven emeralds, and you're going to give me an eye of ender. So that's two eyes of ender now. Accidentally fire that sucker. So let's go. Let's get back to Macho. And I'm going to put some of this stuff away. And I'm using my train. See? I know. Sometimes I forget. 
And I walk instead, but I just have to get into the habit of using my train. It's a nice ride. It really is. It's a lot of fun. And so now I'm just going to go through my gear here. And just get ready for this next adventure. So I'm going to put the raw beef away. And then... Uh, I have five cooked steaks? Wow. So I got cooked. So I got the looting in. Right? We got the looting too. That was one hit. Not too shabby. So every once in a while I can get myself a nice... Uh, <laughs> a nice uh, pack of cooked steak. Okay. I'll be right back. And then we'll go uh, hunt down some Endermen. Hang on. All right. Are we ready to rumble? Yeah. Okay, it's nighttime. The rain has stopped, so we can go out on our little Enderman hunt now. Um, unfortunately, this episode is somewhere in the 20 to 22 ish minute ish, depending on my edits. Hey, I just picked up an egg. Egg on the track. Um, so I think we're going to cut out here in a moment. I think 25 minutes is a is a pretty good uh, goal for most episodes. So why don't we go see if we can find an Enderman? We'll slaughter him up. I have two eyes of Ender. I'd like to get four. I've got two blaze powders here, so we can make at least two more. Um, stocked up on some steak. I've got instant health potions. I, I grabbed an extra one, and these will work on the pets, of course. The fire resistance as well. And then we're gonna head out. We're gonna go find. We're gonna go find us a stronghold, which probably won't do until the next episode, since again this one's long enough for one. Um, I don't see any Enderman. Isn't that special? Look at we've got zombie horde over here by the pool of water. No Enderman. I want to get at least one Enderman on camera um, with this looting and fire. So, hang on. Let me look around. I'll be back. I don't even have to fight anymore. I just punch him with a bare fist. And my dogs just chowed on that guy totally. Whoa, alright, this is going to be a little different though. Because the spider might... Okay, he might get in a few extra licks like that. Alright, well, let's see. Still no Enderman. Ooh. Hold steady, pal. There you go. Sick him. Zombie Pong. Perfect. Alright, we got a pair of Endermen. Let's make sure we're gonna heal. And let's go get them. Come on! Bring it! Come at me, bro. I know you're mad. Whoa. He is a zippy little fella, isn't he? Where'd he go? Alright, let's bring this guy in. Come on. He's on fire. Where'd he go, guys? You guys see him? They just split. You hit him, and they take off. What the heck? <sighs> Cowards! Come back and fight like an Enderman! Wow, they just totally bolted on me. Ah. <sighs> It's going to be a long night. I'll be right back. Okay, we got one over here by the jungle. Now I'm going to change my tactic up a little bit this time. Oh, look, wild wolves. Ah, oh, another one. Oops, I looked at him, though. So my tactic now is to beat him up with this one and then kill him with that one. Oh, man, that's three strikes with an iron. And he's... Oh, he died. That was a, that was a death screech there at the end. Ah, oh, darn. All right, let's try it with this guy. I'll hit him four times with the iron. Come on. Come on. One. Whoops. No, no, guys, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, you're not invited to this fight. Beat it. And then I'll... Now I'll try to kill him with this thing. Here he is. Come here. The same guy. Come on, come on, come on. Come over here. Oh, 
Got him! Two! Yes! You guys all right? All right, you're dead. Stop talking. Cool. All right, that's what I was hoping for. So that worked out pretty well. So now we have two and... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's just you. Cover me. Look at this. We have these nice little wild wolvesies over here. But you know what? I've already got two mouths to feed. Three, actually, if you include the cat. Aha! Four eyes of Ender. Um, so. Okay. I hate to do this to you, but we're going to cut out now and we're going to find a stronghold in the next episode because this one's long enough. Okay, we are done for now. I hope you all enjoyed and salute. We'll see you next time. Good night. You want to take two blocks of quartz, stack them up like so, and you'll get the pillared. And I really like this one a lot. I'm going to use this one in this build for my Greek bath. I love